Hello and welcome. This is Angie with thecountrysheetcottage.net. So today we're going to talk about the Cricut Joy and the pens you can use in this machine. So you may think you can only use the Cricut Joy pens in the Cricut Joy because they're specially marked just Cricut Joy. But I have several pens that you can use inside this machine. Some of these will use adapters, some of them will not. So let's dive into the pens and take a look at which ones you can use with your Cricut Joy. And spoiler alert, the regular Cricut pen is in my stack of pens that I was able to use on my Cricut Joy. So let's take a look. Let's start with pens that you can use with no adapter right in your Cricut Joy. First, let's look at the Cricut Joy pens. This is a Cricut Joy pen. And then this is a regular Cricut pen. So if I take the caps off of these, you can see that there's a big difference between the Cricut Joy on the left and the regular Cricut pen on the right. Now we will cover how to use regular Cricut pens in your Cricut Joy, but I did want to cover this difference first. Now let's take a look at the Cricut Joy itself and adding the pen. So you just open the clamp, remove that blade, and then to add the Cricut Joy pen, you just drop it in and it stops on the ridge, close the clamp, and then you can write anything that's a draw line. So I actually wrote with each of these pens on this piece of paper, and that first line is this Cricut Joy pen that I've written in a font. It just needs to be a font that has a writing style to get this look. So the Cricut Joy pens work perfectly, of course, with the Cricut Joy, even without any adapter or anything like that. But let's look at some of the other pens and how you can get them to work in your Joy with no adapter at all. Let's say I wanted to write with this Sharpie fine point marker. So it's just a regular Sharpie marker, right? So let's say I wanted to put it in my joy. So first of all, let's take a look at the barrel comparison with the pen on the joy itself. So you can see that the barrel size is fairly similar, but if I was to put those both down equal distant, you might be able to tell that the ridge for the joy marker is lower than the ridge for the Sharpie marker. So what do we do to get this in our joy? So what I like to do is to put them up together like this and then mark where that ridge is for the joy marker onto whatever marker I'm gonna use. So now I know where to stop when I put this Sharpie marker in my joy. So I will stop when I get, I like to actually put the line a little lower than the ridge on the joy and cover that line up as I put it in the clamp on my joy. So let's head to our joy and put a Sharpie marker in and I'll show you how to do that. All right, so here's our joy. Here's a Sharpie and I have that line marked and I can just put it down to where that line is just inside the clamp, close the clamp and now I can write with that Sharpie with my Cricut Joy. Same thing, those writing fonts. This second line is actually written with this orange Sharpie. So I would kind of choose your fonts carefully when you're dealing with something like a Sharpie that does wide lines. But otherwise, write away with your Sharpie marker. Just be sure to mark how deep that you're gonna put it because if you were to put it all the way to this ridge, it would be too deep and actually wouldn't work. So just be sure to mark it. So you will need some Cricut Joy pens, at least one, to mark these markers that we're using. So now let's move on to some more markers. So this is a Sharpie paint marker and I've done the same thing, right? So I marked it on the barrel, how deep it's supposed to be, and I can put it in to that mark. It's just covered up, shut the clamp, and now I can use this right in my Cricut Joy. Again, I wrote with it on this paper. That's the next one, which is the Sharpie Paint. Another pen that works without any adapter is the Pilot Precise. And this is actually just a pen. So like it clicks. Um, and so we can take this one out, put this one into the, until the line's covered up close that clamp and now we can write with that. And I really love the lines of that Pilot Precise. Like it's super skinny, like ultra, ultra fine. And I really like that for writing. 
Um, next up is Crayola Pip, Pip Squeaks. So these are super small Crayola markers. Yes, the Crayola markers we all know and love. They come in a big pack. And I will link to all of these markers and pens below once again, just so you know. And again, I've measured it and put a mark on the Pip Squeak. And I'm gonna put it in until the Pip Squeak is in there to the line. Close that up. And that's this purple line right here. So it says Crayola Pip Squeaks. And that's the one I used for that. So it's super easy to use all of these with no adapter required. Now let's talk about Tombow pens. So these might be your favorite pens. This is a Tombow dual tip. So it has one size tip on this side and one on this side. For this side, the skinny tip, I actually don't need an adapter. So I marked it to the depth. I can put that into that depth, close that clamp, and that's this first one, Tombow Tip 1. Now for that second one, I actually need an adapter. So all of these adapters I'll link to below, and they're from the same Etsy shop. So I'm just going to remove this. I'm going to remove the cap from that brush tip side, and this is what our adapter looks like. So it's just like a laser printed little piece of plastic, and it is a full barrel here and like a half barrel here. And you want to put it in where the full barrel is up. And I like to mark the pen where it's supposed to go, just like I did for the other ones. And that way I know how far my adapter needs to go. So I just push my adapter on there. And then the adapter should go down to where the full barrel portion sits on the clamp. And then you just close it up. And that's Tombow Tip 2, as you see here. I think you would need to play with the fonts on that one to see a good font to use with it. Because it's a brush tip, um, you might have to find a certain font or maybe a script font to use with it. It didn't work really great with the font that I picked, but it probably would work great with a different font. All right, so while we're on this adapter here, this adapter is called the Sharpie adapter because it works with the Sharpie Ultra Fine tip. So the Sharpie Ultra Fine, and of course the Tombow like I just showed, but this is the Sharpie Ultra Fine tip, and they look a little something like that. Once again, I held it up to the Cricut Joy Marker and got a location just to double check, but this one actually slips on there, and it goes right up to where I marked, and then I can just put it in, make sure it's down, so the half barrel portion goes inside the clamp. The full barrel portion is sticking up outside and it is best to put the half barrel to the back and then close that clamp. And then you can write with that Sharpie Ultra Fine right there. Now I find also that this one works great for the Crayola Super Tips. So the Super Tips, I saw a bunch online where people didn't need an adapter, but I can't get it if I was to put it in there without an adapter, it doesn't even clamp in. So the super tips that I got, I needed this adapter. So I just put the adapter in and it doesn't stop, like it keeps going, but I just held it right at my mark, put it into the joy, closed that clamp, and then I wrote with it just fine. So that's that green Crayola super tips right there really liked the look of that. It's similar to the Pip Squeaks though, and the Pip Squeaks you don't need any adapter, but the Super Tips I was able to get like a huge 50 pack of like tons of different colors for super cheap. So they may be worth it to get the adapter and get the Super Tips. All right, so while we're talking about adapters, what you might have been waiting for is can I use the regular Cricut pens in my Cricut Joy? So here's my regular Cricut pen there is an adapter to use this with the Cricut Joy. So you just put that adapter on there. It goes all the way up to the ridge on the regular pens. Then you stick it in down to that ridge, close that clamp, and you can use your regular Cricut pens that maybe you purchased previously right with the Cricut Joy. So that's this green mark right here. So it says Cricut pens regular, and that's the Explore pens and the Maker pens that you can now use in your Joy. So um, they also sent me, so this one is called the Cricut Adapter. And as you can see, like it has two full barrels and then it has a C cut out of it. So you can tell them apart. Um, they also sent me 
what they call their jelly roll pin adapter. I don't have any jelly roll pins. I'm sure it works with the jelly roll pins, but I did have this Marvy Lapume, I guess is how you say it. Um, I really love this marker and I marked it just to see if it would work with any of these adapters and I found that it worked with this jelly roll adapter. So the jelly roll is the same as that first adapter we used except it has a G on it and I can put it in there fine. That blue line right there is that Marvy Lapume. Um, I really liked this one and I think like a font that was more spaced out it would look really really good. So that's one that they didn't even have listed but I had on hand that I tried and it worked great. Finally we have the Secura Micron. So you might have used a Micron pen before and they make an adapter for those. So it has an M on it. It looks similar to the adapter for the Cricut pens but it has an M not a C and then you just lock that pen into place put the adapter down in your joy until it's all the way down close that clamp and now you can use your micron pen in your joy um, and that's that last one down there so kind of similar to the pilot precise that didn't need an adapter which i really liked but if you are just addicted to your micron pens that's what you would use for those now pens that i could not get to work these were just pens i had around the house um, so the le pen drawing I couldn't get to work with any of the adapters. Um, this is a Prismacolor Premier. Again, I could not get it to work. And then the Le Pen Flex. I also could not get that to work. So those were three I could not get to work. And then finally, spoiler alert, so this Cricut adapter here, they say it will work with any of the Cricut pens. Awesome, Cricut pens, Cricut infusible ink pens but it also works with Cricut accessories. I will be doing a video and testing scoring on the Cricut Joy, so stay tuned for that. All right, so one thing I did not cover in the video was infusible ink markers. So you can get infusible ink in pen marker form for the Cricut Joy, so they will actually say Cricut Joy on them. You can also get them in just for the Cricut Explorer or the Maker, and then you could use that same adapter for your Cricut pens you could use on the infusible ink markers. Now, I do wanna note that I'll link to the Artispray markers below. Artispray is sublimation ink, just like the infusible ink, and these will actually go into your Cricut Joy, no adapter required. Usually if I'm using my Cricut Joy and I don't have the color I need in like the Joy infusible ink, actually I only have black, um, I'll just grab my Artispray, which I have a ton of colors of those, and just pop them in the Joy. Um, again, just watch that depth, but otherwise you can use the um, Artispray sublimation markers in your Cricut Joy, no adapter required, so if you have those, you can definitely do that. Pick up some pens, pick up some adapters, grab your Cricut Joy, and start doing all those drawing projects. Now, the adapter that you want to pick up will depend on the pen that you want to use. I'm gonna list the adapters below, as well as the pens that I've used below with affiliate links. You can pick up the adapters, you can pick up the pens, you can pick up the pens that do not use the adapters. Just remember to watch the depth of the pen as the Cricut Joy has that great ridge that helps stop the pen, whereas you need to do that manually for all the other pens that we tried. Otherwise, start drawing, start having fun, start making all the projects with all the pens and your Cricut Joy machine. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about anything we've covered today or any questions about the Cricut Joy in general, you can ask those below. I might have a former video or your question might just inspire me to create a new video all about Cricut Joy. If you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. You don't wanna miss any of our videos. We have Cricut videos every week, including some on the Cricut Joy, and you are going to love each and every one of those. So thank you all so much for joining me and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.